Hi, and welcome to Kathy Talks. I'm Kathy McCann, and this is In My Opinion. Have you started dating recently? Online, perhaps? And are you struggling a bit with the whole process? Well, please stay tuned. I've got a few ideas for you that I think are going to help make the experience a whole lot easier for you. Welcome back. So I've been talking to a lot of people that have been doing some online dating, and my gosh, how disappointed a lot of them are. Now, one of the things that I find quite interesting is how upset people get that people are not living up to their expectations. They have ideas in their mind about who this person is. Maybe they've been dialoguing back and forth in the emails or texting and things are really heating up and it sounds like the stars are aligned and everything's going to be perfect and boom, when you get in person, the person that was reflected in the writing doesn't seem to be at all like the person that's sitting in front of you. Now, it could be everything from height, weight proportion that is off, I hear that a lot, or maybe it's that this woman just doesn't shut up about her ex-husband and how awful he is and how she's taking him to the cleaners. In both of those cases, I suggest you say to yourself, thank you, thank you for showing me so early who you are and save me all the time, energy and effort of trying to make a relationship work that obviously isn't. In regards to the gal who's height, weight, proportionate, um, not, I, I personally believe that it's important to express that um, as kindly as possible. And I know it's something that's really difficult for guys to do. But you know what? This girl is setting herself up for uh, not just disappointment for herself, but humiliation probably time and time again. She's representing herself as something other than who she really is. I believe that there is somebody for everyone. Just be who you are. If you're a big girl, be big and be proud. Let people know that. And the people who love big girls will be very happy to seek them out. But if you're a guy who prefers a woman a little on the smaller side, um, then you know what? That's who you're looking for and that's who you're expecting to meet. So if it were me, I would certainly follow up and say, you know what? It was great to meet you today. But I have to tell you, I was somewhat disappointed in the way that you have presented yourself. Your pictures are obviously older and you have put on some extra weight. Now, there's nothing wrong with how you look. You're a beautiful woman, I'm sure, inside and out. But I can't look, uh, I can't look beyond that sort of deception. If you're willing to deceive me about that, I'm not sure that I can trust you to not deceive me about a lot of other things. So thank you. I thank you for your time. I appreciate it and had fun with the lead up to our meeting. But please, just be who you are. There is somebody out there for you. And leave it at that. And, you know, it might be a little bit painful to her. I do understand that. But I really think that the honesty and sincerity in your words will help her recognize what she's doing wrong and perhaps help her find the right fit instead of the embarrassment and humiliation that she's obviously going to continue to go through. Now, in the other scenario where the girl that you meet is beating up her husband, her ex husband, whatever. You know what? Run for the hills. Just get the heck out of there as fast as you can. I really believe that any woman that speaks like that about her husband, someone that I would presume that she was in love with, had wanted to stay married to forever, and for whatever reason they are now not together, how she can stop caring about this guy and speak about him so poorly, I, I just can't see that she's going to see you any differently in 10 years or, or maybe it's only five or three or two. So again, just my humble opinion, but guys, don't put up with that stuff. There's a lot of girls out there. I'm sure that there's one exactly right for you. Don't put up with it. You don't deserve it. I hope you'll stay tuned. I hope you'll come back. I hope you'll subscribe to this channel and I'll be back with another In My Opinion. 
And until then, I wish you all the joy and peace in your heart, the kind that no one can take away from you. Namaste. Stay tuned. I'm going to tell you more about that. You might want to know what that means. No. Well, stay tuned, and I'm going to tell you exactly all about what I think. <laughs> so, <clears throat> well, I have quite a, a scary situation for a lot of people. Not having very good experiences, and the uh, so this is what I have found.